Hi, this is Derek C. Moss, Professor of English and Interdisciplinary Studies at SUNY Potsdam. Welcome to A Deeper Dive into African American Literature, a daily series of short podcasts produced in conjunction with SUNY Potsdam's Celebration of Black History Month in 2021. Each day this February, we'll be looking at and listening to the work of an African American writer whose name may not be as familiar as Frederick Douglass, Zora Neale Hurston, Langston Hughes, or Toni Morrison, but these writers' contributions help give us a much fuller picture of Black artists' roles in shaping American culture. Episode 27, Morgan Parker. Having already published three highly regarded collections of poetry and a novel by her mid-30s, Morgan Parker is among the leading lights of a young generation of African-American poets whose work is deeply steeped in both Black history and pop culture. Raised in Southern California and educated at both Columbia and NYU, Parker has quickly established herself as a contemporary Black poetic voice that departs from the conventions of the past, even as she celebrates some of them. Her debut collection, Other People's Comfort Keeps Me Up at Night, introduced audiences to her signature blend of satirical, often self-deprecating humor, and pointed rejection of any expectations projected onto her as a young Black woman. Her follow-ups, There Are More Beautiful Things Than Beyonce and Magical Negro, developed and expanded these characteristics further, after which she changed up both her genre and tone somewhat in publishing a coming-of-age novel for young adults entitled Who Put This Song On? Now let's watch and listen to Parker reading her 2017 poem Please Wait or There Are More Beautiful Things in the World Than Beyonce. I don't know why, but I always like feel compelled to tell people that I wrote this poem in the bathtub. Um, just feels like part of the poem now. Please wait, or there are more beautiful things than Beyonce. Please wait to record Love Jones at 848 Saturday on BET until your life is no longer defined by Beyonce. Ants crawling over fallen leaves and little pieces of dog shit empty chicken boxes glowing with the remembrance of Greece. There are more beautiful things than Beyonce. Self-awareness, leftover mascara in clumps, recognizing a pattern. This is for all the grown women out there whose countries hate them and their brothers, who carry knives in their purses down the street. Maybe they will not get out alive. Maybe they will turn into air or news or brown flower petals. There are more beautiful things than Beyonce. Lavender, education, becoming other people, the fucking sky. It's so overused in poems because no one's sure of it. How it floats with flagrant privilege and feels it can ask any question. Every day its ego gets bigger and you let that happen. But one day your shit will be unbelievably together. One day you'll care a whole lot. You'll always take vitamins and exercise without bragging and words will fit perfectly into your mouth like an olive soaked in gin. The glory of an olive soaked in gin and its smooth smallness. A gloss will snowfall onto your cheeks, the top of your lip. The sidewalks will be the same, evidenced. Combing your records, you'll see the past and think, okay, once I was a different kind of person. For more information about Parker and her work, click on the link above to visit her personal website. Check back tomorrow at the link at the bottom of the screen for another episode of A Deeper Dive into African American Literature. While you're there, you'll be able to find links to all of the previous episodes in the series, as well as links to booksellers from whom you can purchase these authors' works. And please, if you've enjoyed this series so far, help us spread the word. Thanks and gratitude go out to Clifton Harkham, Jason Hunter, and Alex Jacobs Wilkie at SUNY Potsdam, as well as to David Summerstein and Bonnie North at North Country Public Radio. Yeah.